guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to part 34 of Let's Play The Sims 4. <laughs> part 34 of Let's Play The Sims 4. Alrighty guys, so we are going to go ahead and jump right back in to the Monet household. Alrighty guys, and welcome back to some fiery hot Sims 4 gameplay. Uh, so yeah, um, Nadine's on fire right now, and if I was ever in this situation, that would be me. I would be standing there like, what do I do? Um... So yeah, she's on fire. Um, this is the first time I've ever seen this, actually. I think. I think. So I'm gonna have her go extinguish herself really, really quickly. Oh my gosh. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> Poor Nadine. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, okay. Extinguish. 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 Hurry, hurry, hurry. Stop. Stop looking at the fire and help out. Okay. Awesome. Um, we received 514 simoleons to actually go ahead and um, hopefully put those towards uh, some house upgrades because our, our stove is burnt and so is in our counter. Um, but yes, we've had a fire in the game before. I actually wanted to talk to you guys about what has happened off camera. I did film it. And it was a little mundane, and it was like, no, nah, no, nah, we can't upload that. It has to be spicy, fiery, fiery, literally. And, you know, I just want to create better content. And with that being said, um, you know, all together, just better content. Oh, my, get, get back inside. Look at her. Route to safety. Get in the house. Get in the house. Where were you going to go? Okay, so pretty much what happened off camera is Drake got a job. He is now in the criminal career. I was kind of like, I didn't know what to pick for him. It was between a tech guru and a criminal. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have him be a criminal. Why not? Um, so yeah, he is a criminal and he has work in nine hours. And then Nadine, of course, is a writer's assistant. And she um, wrote for three hours and also got her writing skill up to a level two. So she is definitely ready for all of that. Megan did age up, but she like just aged up and she is so freaking cute, guys. Like how freaking cute she is. And she's also a artistic prodigy. So I I decided for her to be more, um, I, I guess not so much into what normal kids are into, I guess. Um, Josh was very rambunctious and definitely all over the place. And I'm going to have her be a little bit more I guess you could say secluded. She likes to play her violin and stuff like that instead of maybe heading out and or getting a girlfriend or boyfriend like Drake. So I, I see her being more of the um, maybe the go-getter. She's she's I could see her in like the tech guru career or the musician career. I don't know something along those lines, the entertainer career. Um, even though she's she's um. She's really, really cute, and I definitely think she looks like, uh, Jose, but she has Candace's eyes, and, yeah, she's really, really cute. So, um, who are you? Oh my gosh, it is Parker Caliente, the guy that I said looks like Drake, the wannabe Drake, literally. Can we come over here and be rude to him? We're gonna be rude to him. He's gonna be like, yo, bro, what's up with the hair? And he's like, I'm hotter than you. <laughs> We're going to yell at him and scare him and rile him up and mock his outfit. <laughs> He's like, seriously, dude? <laughs> Gosh. All right, this girl is hungry still. She's making scrambled eggs. How about we go ahead and eat that rack of lamb right there? Let's leave the cooking up to Candace. And she's reading a book. Well, when you just walk into my house, obviously I'm going to insult you. All right, Jake, go use the toilet. All right, Nadine's taking her shower. What is this? A strange transmission. While on a solo mission to space, blah, 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 um, Jose hears a strange transmission come across the radio. It doesn't even sound like Simlish. Just a bunch of silly gibberish language instead. What could it be? Um... We're going to investigate it just because if somebody was talking to you over transmission, you would want to know what they were saying and not ignore it, right? 
Um, okay, he did get a small performance gain. Awesome. I'm going to have him work hard in hopes that he gets a promotion. In hopes that he gets a promotion. I'm really, really, really looking forward for that. Um, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, this one's Josh. It is the school spelling bee, and Josh made it to the final round, but this time he's never even heard the word he's, he's supposed to spell. Glancing around the room, Josh sees a class brainiac flash her Oh, flash him her notebook with the word written neatly on it. We're gonna, um, we're gonna accept the help, right? I would. <laughs> um, oh, it was a joke. The brainiac falls out of her chair laughing. Oh, <laughs> he got it wrong. What a freaking little biatch. Wow. Those are the type of girls that Okay, when you're, like, in elementary school, there's, like, always that one girl in the class that everybody's like, why are you here? I was that girl in third grade. I remember that. I was that girl. Okay, Nadine has a work in an hour, so I'm gonna have her go eat her wreck of lamb. Oh, uh, look, she's hanging out with the girls. I love it. She's definitely got to get to know everybody. For sure. Candace, how about, what can you do? What can you do? She's ready for a promotion, but she doesn't have work for, like, another two days. I think I'm going to have Candace probably, um, wow, she actually looks, like, like, just so messed up right there. Like, a failed plastic surgery. Um, I think I'm going to have her head out and make some new friends because, like, everybody in the town died off. So, yeah. I'm actually going to have her go practice her violin. Okay. Okay. As you can see, she's pretty horrible right now. Yeah. Megan is horrible. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, she's, um, really, really bad. Like, really bad. Um, t toying around from playing with a toy from bikes and trains to video games. Oh. Alright, so she doesn't even know Nadine, like, at all, so we're going to give her an introduction. Be like, hi, you live in my house now. Let's get to know her, you know, joke about fashion a little bit and all that stuff. Which a lot of people were like, ew, what are those jeans? What are those jeans? And I friggin' love, like, love, 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 love. With a passion, Nadine's jeans. They are really in fashion right now. Like, really in fashion. I would consider those boyfriend jeans. And for those who don't know, boyfriend jeans are huge right now. Honestly, you can go to any fashion store and I can guarantee you, you'll find some boyfriend jeans. I own two pairs. I really, really, really love them. Um, so, yeah, they're like a little baggy, but that's how they're supposed to be. And you wear them or I think, personally, they would look really nice with, like, black pumps. So, yeah. All right, she has work very shortly. What is this? Um, from extinguishing a fire. It's probably like, Mom, please don't embarrass me. She's like, I won't, Drake. <laughs> All right, he's gonna go shower and then probably um, probably go work out for a little bit. All right, I think she's off to work. Oh, yep, she's off. All right, and he's gonna come out here. Oh, the cake. I'm not the cake. The cow plant needs some food, so we're gonna go feed him. And then we're going to practice punching for a little bit. Go on, go feed him. All right, Megan's creativity skill is now a level two. Lovely. All right, Candace, stop it. Oh. Okay. She's a little tense right now from uh, everything that went down, but I'm going to have her travel. Um, I think we're going to head out to... I don't know. Tonight, I think I'm going to have... Um, Nadine and Drake head to the lounge. Oh, that's really sad. We can't even visit the pancakes anymore. Wow. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to have them head to the lounge tonight. Um, just to have a nice night out together. And I think we might propose in the next part, by the way. So I think we're going to come visit... I think we're gonna come visit the Roth family. We're gonna go alone. Actually, we'll take this girl, Beverly. 
She seems kind of young, kind of cool. Cassandra Goth is a, um, an elder. So that should tell you that everybody in this town is dying, which is really exciting, huh, guys? Everybody's dying. Lovely. But yeah, we're going to head in here and uh, just talk to this girl, I guess, for a little while. She seems kind of boring, kind of like somebody that you would catch staring at you in the grocery store like, I hate you. I don't know. I don't know. I've seen this face before. That is all I know. So we are going... Oh, she has some big tatas. Get it. We're going to um, vent to her. It's probably not the best way to start off our friendship, but we're going to vent to Beverly. Maybe she's the next Eliza. We're not going to complain. We're just going to vent for a little bit. And then we will um, discuss our interest. Yeah. She's like, girl, I know. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Share cooking secrets, and we'll gossip, and we'll flatter her, because she does have quite the body. I do say so myself. Alright. And we are going to get to know her a little bit. Um, talk about gourmet dishes. Oh, and she's a foodie! Oh my gosh, we can be really good friends. I think Candace just got really, really excited when she found out that uh, Beverly is a foodie because Candace is a foodie and foodies can eat food together. I'm a foodie. <laughs> Damn right I'm a foodie. I love food. We'll share creative ideas together. We'll brighten her day because now we know she's a foodie. So we're all, we're all over that. Um, we'll give her cooking tips because we are like a pro. Where did she go? Beverly just disappeared. Um, okay, well, we're gonna come knock on this door then. What a cute little house. It's really, really cute. Modern, but not too modern. I like it. And I love the Oasis Springs background. I think it's really, really nice. Come on in. Okay, let's take a good little look-see at this home here. It's really, really nice. Wow. I would not mind moving to Oasis Springs. That is for sure. Very modern. Very cute. I'm a fan. The backyard's really nice. You could put a pool. Wow. I really like this house. Um, So we're going to come over here and talk to the Sims. I think we're going to talk to Vincent first and then uh, what's her name here Sarah Roth I think they're married I think so but I think we need a good guy friend you know so we're gonna come friends with him okay so we're feeling tense again she's gonna dance it out look at her <laughs> look at her dancing all mad all right, so we're just going to joke around a bit. Okay. Not romance. Hopefully he's into us, like, as a friend, of course. Oh, he's a goofball. Okay. So he'd probably like us being a little mischievous, tricking him with the, you know, the hand buzzer and maybe, um... If we're a little funny, I'll probably enjoy that too. Tell a joke about Martians and tell him a funny story. And yeah. How's her? Okay, it actually seems like she likes us a little bit more. Cool. Oh, she's really bored. Wow. Okay, well, we're going to tell her an outrageous story. Um, we're going to just joke around with her then. But we need to head home soon because it is Josh's birthday. We need to make him a cake. And, oh, I really, I appreciate the maxi dress. Um, not the maxi dress, the maxi skirts. They're really nice, and I think they'd be even cuter. I'll give you guys, like, a little idea here. Um, to any, maybe, custom content creators who are watching this, or maybe even somebody who works at EA. I don't know. But, um, you could take this maxi skirt right here, and then put, like, a slit in it. Like, 
a, a little slit. Those are really, really in. And I, I have a pair. Have a pair. I have one that's really, really cute. And I think that would um, be really nice. Um, a skirt that I think you'd get a lot of credit for. So I would definitely do that. All right, it's getting a little, a little late. I think we got to know them pretty well. Let me see. Sarah and Vincent. Um, we'll, we'll probably invite them over. I think that's how you say his name, Vincenti. I don't know. Um, we'll probably invite them over. Maybe even Beverly. We can get a whole crew going again. But uh, Candace, what you doing? <laughs> We're going to go ahead and head home now. And Jose, I think it's off at 5 p.m., and Drake goes to work at 5 p.m., but he's going to miss his little brother's birth. Actually, hold on. Before we go, go use their toilet. Um, I mean, it's okay if he misses his little brother. Brother, brother birthday. It's okay if he misses Josh's birthday. I mean, he's coming a teenager, guys. I'm sure he wouldn't mind. I wonder if they have a kid. They just might. I'm not sure. I don't even know if they're um married or anything. I, I don't know. I don't. Maybe they're brothers and sister. And, like, their parents died off or something. I don't know. Um, but I, I can actually check it out if I went and got my Sims 4 um, guide. I could check the backstory of the Roth family. Um, but, yeah, we're going to go ahead and head home really, really quickly. And then cook a cake and we're done. Okay? See you guys Alrighty, then. guys. And we are now home. What we're going to do... Oh, crap. Okay, we have to replace the, um, the stove if I want to make a cake. So we're, uh, oh, that's fine, I guess. Make a special recipe. Ooh, because I'm feeling playful. I can make some silly gummy bear pancakes. I'm actually going to go ahead and make those. And I'm also going to um, make some flirty, yummy stuff tonight. That should be fun. and Oh, she's feeling a little tense. She's going to go beg for new toys. She's so cute. So, so cute. <laughs> Girl, she's going to come over and talk to her mom. It's like, Mom, please, please, I really want a new toy. <laughs> I love it. She's like complaining. <laughs> I love her. She's so cute. Aww. She's literally just nagging her mom while her mom cooks. I love it. She's not stopping either. She's not stopping for anything. It's like, whatever, mom. Whatever. Um, I'm actually going to have her continue playing her violin. I want her to really, really get good at it. Oh, okay. So Jose didn't get a promotion, unfortunately. He should... Oh, he doesn't have work for another two days. This makes me so mad. He doesn't have work tomorrow, but he has it Friday. But still, that makes me pissed. Uh, he will get a promotion on Friday. For sure. Without a doubt. He will get one then. Um. Oh, he's a little stressed because he worked hard. But uh, he looks really, really pissed. But he brought home a good good amount of simoleons. So good job, Jose. Enough to replace that counter. Cool. Oh, look. He's like, please stop playing that. He's going to go ahead and watch her. Look at him. Really not helping his bad day of work. <laughs> okay. And I know we've made gummy, um, gummy pancakes before. Gummy bear pancakes. But they're just so cute. And uh, now we are really, really quickly going to serve. No. We're going to cook. Um... We're going to go ahead and do a hamburger cake. We haven't made one in a while. Josh, Josh, we're trying to cook you a cake right now. Can you not? All right, we're going to go ahead and do that now. Josh, oh, he's a little embarrassed from school. Feeling a little energized now. Cool. He's <laughs> so cute. Too many errors. Nadine's boss is a little bit of a diva. But the latest story has some huge errors in it. Should Nadine work late to make sure everything is fixed and perfect? Or just fix the most obvious ones and call it a day? Work hard, definitely. Performance gain medium, definitely. Nadine's boss is so impressed, definitely. That's always how you should do it. No matter what, just try to put in the extra work when it comes to, like, 
especially if you're working for somebody else or school or something, always put the extra 10% in. It makes a huge difference, I promise. All right, Jose, do me a favor and go mop that up. Okay, and Nadine is home. She's a little stressed out and she's a little mad at hearing the violin, but you know, I'm actually gonna have her stop playing now. She's really putting everybody in a bad mood. <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and wait for that cake to be done. Nadine definitely needs to take like a nice um, unwinding bath if we had a bath, but we don't. Oh, we should get one for sure. She wants to go uh, browse the web, but we have a birthday to celebrate. I'm sorry. We can't right now. We have a birthday. So, we're going to add some birthday candles on top of that. We're going to move this book. All right. I want everybody to get in here. Come sit. Nadine, come sit. Oh, you're not going to take a piece, Megan. Take a seat. Candace, come sit down. Megan, do not do it. All right. And he is going to, um, where he's going to make a wish, right? I would always make a wish. I don't know what the other interactions are, but Megan does not look happy. But everybody needs to come and celebrate. Come celebrate. We're actually not going to sit down. We're going to celebrate. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, I almost messed everything up. No, Megan, do not blow those out. Megan, do not blow those out. Megan, 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 stop, bitch, stop, stop. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to freaking, don't do it. Don't do it, do not do it. Stop. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to age her down. You friggin' biatch. You little biatch. I mean, I guess it is my fault, but now I have to redo this all over. See, Nadine is not impressed. <sighs> now we'll get the- no, I don't care- oh my god, I don't want any of this. I'm just clicking on stuff because I'm about to age- oh, I'm so mad. But now we all know what she's going to look like when she ages up. Some big old lips. Some big old lips. Wow, I am so mad. I am so mad. Oh, and they already took pieces of the cake. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. I am going to really quickly... I don't even think she's a teenager. Is she a teenager? Yeah, she's a teenager. I'm really quickly going to freaking fix my mess, Okay. Okay. Okay, I fixed my mess. But now we have to go make another freaking cake. Wow. Okay, guys. Poor Josh. She's probably like, true. My little sister just aged up and I didn't. And she's like, I'm sorry, I'll age back down. Really weird. I, if I do say so myself and I feel bad. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm such a failure. Oh, birthday from birthday cake. Birthdays are fun. Heck, any party is a good time. But a celebration with a personal cake? Okay, so did I not click on him? I don't even know. Leave her alone. Le she's going to bed for the night. I'm. She's going to bed. Okay, so let's finish making this freaking cake. Celebrate your birthday a little late. <laughs> but... We're still gonna celebrate it, so please don't age up. I know they, I think they age up at nine. Ooh, hurry, hurry, hurry. If we can get this done, okay, we can. Okay, hopefully. Put the cake down, put the cake down. We're gonna throw away this one. <laughs> I'd never wanna look at that cake again. Put this one here. Add birthday candles. Come on, come add birthday candles. Okay, and blow out your candles. Here we go, finally. <laughs> My gosh, what a mess that was. And only his mom is here to watch now. 
Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and what would he be? What would this little mister be? Um, he was very social, that's for sure. Very, very social. Um, maybe, I don't know. Um, what did he do a lot when he was younger? He was just very, very social. I think he would kind of be, um, friend of the world. The Sim wants to make, uh, and keep as many friends as they can. Okay, so we'll do that. I do not know how to say this. Gregarious, <laughs> I don't know, but he's very social. And he will also be, what else was he? He was, uh, he was a little childish. I, I could see him being a little childish. So here he is, purple earrings and all. Fierce, fierce hunty, get it. We're going to go ahead and give him a really quick makeover. So he is now the age that he is supposed to be. We're going to come up here and change our appearance. Um, yeah, I'm really, really quickly going to change his appearance and then I will show you guys kind of what I came up with. Alrighty guys, so now I'm going to show you kind of what I came up with. When Josh was growing up, I kind of saw him as more of a, I don't know, maybe a mama's boy, kind of, um, you know, not that cool. But as he got older, you know, coming close to becoming a teenager, he was always very rambunctious. His social skills high. And he's not so much a Josh from Drake and Josh, but more or less kind of like, he's kind of Drake. <laughs> you watch the show, you know what I mean? And he's definitely more like Drake. So... Um, he's, he's gonna kind of be like the cool kid. I'm gonna have him date a couple of girls, not just one, but probably a few. <laughs> and, um, he's, he's probably just gonna be like, you know, I don't know, probably a little heartbreaker. I could see it for sure. But here he is. I, I even put like a snapback on him. I don't know if these are really still in. <laughs> I just did it anyways. Um, but yeah, he looks really cute. I love his plaid shirt. And I also gave him a second outfit that's more casual. He kind of looks like, um, like maybe not so much a surfer, but you know, he has like the, the long, beautiful hair. Um, here is his formal attire. Colorful and fun. Uh, his athletic wear. Sleep it wear. And I even put like little glasses on him for change. Um, because glasses are cool. His party attire. Red and jean jackets. I love this combo. I think jean jackets and red pants or something along the lines of red looks really great. And then his swimwear. I can't put like a little speedo on him. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun. I also think we're gonna... I don't know if I can do it in here. I don't think I can. <gasps> I can. Oh my gosh. We're gonna put a tattoo on Mr. Hottie Batati here. I think it'd be fun. Why not? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I love tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> on men especially i think it looks so good yeah. so hot um and i think i think the sleeves look really good so we're gonna do the sleeves okay that's it that's what that's what i did okay so with him now oh my gosh how awkward he's in his speedo and his mom's just like mm -hmm. Ooh, maybe i shouldn't go there maybe i should mm. um we're gonna go ahead and maybe he is a little childish so i'm not gonna make his room exactly you know I don't know. It's not going to be um, very teenage-like for probably another part or so. Mostly because I can't afford it. But we're going to go ahead and put a nice little creativity table in here. Crafting table for Megan. And we'll also... I think, I think that's what I'll do for now. I'll just give her the crafting table. He's going to have to live in that room for like another part or so. When we get a promotion. Is he tired? No. He actually needs to go to the bathroom. Okay. He's gonna go use the toilet and look at Nadine over here. <laughs> Chatting it up with Candace. They're gonna come good friends. Gossip a little bit. Get to know her. No, no, no. Don't go to bed. Come talk to your soon to be mother in law. Get to know her. Um, discuss world peace a little bit. Just talk to her. You guys are gonna be family. That's gonna be the grandmother of your children. Oh my gosh. Look out the window. You just see a lady with like a freaking a bull on her head. L literally, like she just took a bull out and put it on her head. So cute. 
Oh, uh, so many errors. She, she probably needs to, um... I'm pretty sure when you're feeling sad, you can call... Oh, no, when you're feeling really sad, you can actually um, call a sadness hotline on here, and I think that's really cool. I like that. Definitely one of those things that I would highly recommend doing. Um, if you ever feel down, call a hotline. Can we... Let's see what services we can oh. hire. <laughs> Just curious. Um, mead, pizza delivery. Mm, mm, mm. We don't really need anything. Not yet, anyways. Okay. So, I guess we'll come down here and go to sleep now. He should be home at 1 a.m., so he still has a little bit of uh, work to do. Go, don't go be rude to her. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Playing with his little... Oh, Josh is a childish sh shim. Shim. These sims never quite grow up and never lose their love for playing with toys or hanging out with kids. <laughs> I love it. In his speedo. In his freaking speedo. Kind of reminds me of Kelso from that 70s show. Stop it. Don't, don't do this. Oh my gosh. What was that? Okay. Um, what else can he do? He can't mess around on these tables anymore, can he? No. Okay, so, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have him come hug Drago. Is she having a nightmare? Oh, she must be having a nightmare. I wish we could tuck her in. My goodness. He's gonna go upstairs and go hug Drago. <laughs> We're gonna tell him a secret and cheer him up. Oh, look at him. Oh, bouncer problem. Big deals going down in the back of the club tonight. Drake's job is starting a distraction and keep uh, and keep attention off the bosses. Oh, Drake's job is to start a cannot speak or read. Drake's job is to start a distraction and keep attention off the bosses. Unfortunately, the jerk bouncer isn't letting him in. Should he wear a disguise and sneak in or start a fight in the street instead? Sneak back in. Don't performance loss small. Whatever. Sorry, I'm trying to be a good person. He is in the criminal career, so I guess I should really be a bad boy for him. Okay, we're also going to get Mr. Josh here. A little job. Um, let's see. Do find a job? We're going to do that. And I think I'm going to have him work as a fast food employee. I think the, the freaking <laughs> employee costumes are so cute. So, oh, bar I think when Megan gets older, I'll have her be a barista. I can never say that right. Barista. Um... I always wanted to work at like Starbucks or or something like that. Babysitting, ugh, not fun. <laughs> um, we're gonna go ahead and be a fast food employee. <laughs> cool. He works um starting at Thursday. We can't speak. He works Thursday at five p.m. There we go. Big best friend. Magical moments with their stuffed buddies. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I want a picture of him playing with Drago. I love it. <laughs> okay. He obviously really loves his room. Okay. And Drake is now home from work. Very, very tense. He's probably going to just go uh, crawl into bed with his girly and call it a night. Um, so in the next part, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Um, in the next part, we are going to propose to Nadine. Yes, Miss Nadine here, who does not look that cute, but Nadine. Um, Candace will go back to work, hopefully get a promotion. And I really want her to come friends with, like, Beverly. I like Beverly. Uh, Jose should get a promotion as well. And, um, <laughs> Josh will, uh, be Josh, I guess. <laughs> and, oh, he actually has work today. Cool, cool. He, um, he needs to reach level two of the charisma skill, which we will do. And, um, what else, what else? He works uh, four days a week, which is a lot better than what Drake had. He only worked two days a week, so good for him. Um, Megan just aged up, so she's going to be working on her violin and everything. Oh, she's really hungry. So yeah, and the next part, probably a lot will happen. A lot, um, a lot of stuff, for sure. I love you all so very much, and I hope you all had a splendid Monday. I know Mondays are gross, but I love you all so very, very much. Bye, guys. <laughs>